Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we're going to cover some cut content and debug secrets that can be found in the Penrose. So, let's just get right into this. Some rooms in the Penrose intro are inaccessible by normal means. However, using debug, one can teleport inside these rooms to view what's in them, or using dash map to view that they exist. Doing so unlocks three rooms that are not usually accessible until far later in the game, and access them in a state we don't ever get to see them in. In these rooms is another puzzle that has since been removed, as well as hints on how to solve it. These rooms and puzzle were originally part of the demo. So let's start out by reviewing the standard rooms. First is storage. This room is where one would have obtained some light supplies, as well as a note that solves the reactor puzzle. It is a simple room with some boxes. Next is medical. This room is a small medical room that is close in appearance to the later medical room reached during end and has a small note about the Penrose. And finally, there is Reactor. This is a different version of the Reactor room which, much like the end version, shows the pipes leaking. It also contains a puzzle within it. The Reactor puzzle is fairly simple, requiring one to balance temperature and output of energy, kind of similar to how the Fuse puzzle works later in the game. The puzzle features five rods, four of which the players can move, with the goal being to balance the energy to a perfect level while also not overheating the system. It can be solved by finding the scribbled note in the other cut room storage. The scribbled note is going to tell you part of the solution, which you can then use to eyeball your way to the final solution, which finds the values of 10,320 megawatts and 698 Kelvin. This is most likely removed for several reasons. The beginning of the game and the initial Penrose in general does not match the atmosphere of a loud, blinking, failing reactor. And seeing how well the beginning of the game is made, we do not want something that would possibly hurt that experience. The puzzle, while not incredibly difficult, would not be as welcoming to new players as the cryo puzzle is. This may deter players from playing further and engrossing themselves into the game before being shown difficult puzzles. The reactor failing would allude to the player much sooner that all is not as it seems in this game, a reveal that is much better fit for the later cutscene with the king in yellow, or even the tunnel when you enter that. Its original inclusion was for the demo to showcase the game. However, in the full-blown game, its ideas were likely used to make the later fuse puzzle. However, aside from secret rooms early in the Penrose, we can also use debug to learn a little bit more about the memory sequence of the game and the fake out ending sequence in general. We know that these two actually occur within the same zone. If one uses dash map, you can see question mark, question mark, question mark, which indicates that the version of the Penrose that appears following Elster's revival, meaning one can use dash go to to travel from the beginning of the memory sequence to Elster jumping down the hole if they so wished, because it's all one zone. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you're interested in stuff like this, feel free to join one of the three discords I've got linked below. All cool people who play Signalis are in all of them. So I hope you guys enjoy this stuff. I like doing debug stuff. But until next time, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all, well, next time.